chicken nuggets. Great food. So, what's up, YouTube? Hope y'all been out there building shit. If you don't know, I'm Aspie, and you're watching The World Shop. Where the heck has Aspie been? To be honest, guys, I've been extremely busy. Of course, now our neighbor wants to start up some sort of power equipment. <laughs> Weed eater, chainsaw, something. It's always my luck. Either that or the train wants to come through when I start to talking. Yeah. What did I tell you about that train? I knew it was about time for it to come through. I'm making a video. So with the train in the background and some power equipment going on over next door, I'll continue what I'm trying to talk about. You know that I enrolled myself in Class A CDL school to get my commercial driver's license. I've completed that now. Got the hat to prove it. I'm a graduate. I then went and took the tests, and your man Aspie here has a Class A CDL with tanker endorsements and double endorsements. But time has just been in short supply, guys. I've been trying and trying to get a video out to you guys for about three weeks, and every time I think that I'm going to be able to sit down and do that, I've got more stuff on the plate, man. I've got to get myself prepared for winter. I've got to finish up the remodel in my mother-in-law's place. Somebody might need a tow. I did make progress and got this Mr. Cool DIY mini split installed into my mother-in-law's house. So that's good. Now she's going to be able to stay warm through the winter without running our electricity bill up so much. But I still need to keep warm in my place. Another step in getting ready for winter and why I haven't had time for you guys is I decided that I wanted a different wood stove in the house. We had an old one that was way oversized, way inefficient. This one ain't exactly new. It's from the 80s, but... It was a good price. It's way more efficient. It's got a little blower on the back. And one of the awesome things, the pipe from that other one matched up and fit perfect. I didn't even have to cut it. Speaking of wood stoves, they need wood in them. Remember all that apple wood that I went and got? Getting it put away, stacked up. All the little random branches and stuff cut off of it so that it does stack. Oh yeah. Only about halfway through this video and another train comes through. How did I know that was going to happen? Made us a pretty nice pile of firewood there underneath the little carport. Still got quite a bit of little branches and stuff to we've been raking up. We're going to throw this into a kindling box. I know. Some YouTubers. Oh yeah. They'll make a whole video. Just stacking that wood. But I ain't that cute, guys. That's not why they watch this channel. But man, it can be quite discouraging when I see these hot women with the nice booties and the cleavage going on and they get all these views and all these likes and they really ain't even teaching nothing. They ain't doing much on their videos other than kind of being promiscuous and showing off their body and then you got somebody like me that busts my butt man and really puts in some heart and soul and knowledge and tries to teach people things in my videos and i only get a couple clicks a couple likes a couple views and it's getting real discouraging and to the point that it's not quite worth my time anymore i'm really not trying to turn this into a bitch session guys my purpose in doing this channel is to encourage you guys and tell you to use your God-given hands, take on projects, build, fix, create. You know the spiel. If you've been around the channel, you understand my message and my point. I have worked my butt off for the last six years since I got out of prison. Buying tow trucks, buying tractors, buying dump trucks, buying the things that I know that I can use, the tools that I can use. And I use those tools to bless other people, to help other people. And that's what I try to preach to you guys is believing in your hands, taking on things, and just making progress. Not just for you, but for those around you. 
So with that being said, somebody needs their car towed, guys. It just broke down about half an hour from here. So we're gonna jump in the rollback and we're gonna go rescue a Subaru. Let's hit the road. All right, guys, check the oil. Did a quick walk around the truck, check tires and stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in here and get her fired up. Turn on our electric fuel pump. Gauge is coming up. It's been sitting back here for a while. We'll see how the battery wants to turn it over. Yeah, not bad. Not even missing or nothing. Guys, this is why I exist. This is what keeps me motivated. This is what gives me my self-esteem, my self-worth, is helping other people. That's my purpose on this earth. I don't do this channel to show off me or what I accomplish. I do it to try to spread that message because I know before I went to prison, when I was living a selfish life, doing drugs, stealing, committing crimes, I felt horrible about myself. I truly did. And once I got out and I changed my mentality and I realized that I was a worthwhile person and I realized that I could do things to help people. I could do things that maybe they didn't believe their hands were as capable as mine and so I was able to do it and they were appreciative. I try to encourage you guys to have that kind of mindset, to use your hands, to build, to fix, create. And I know that if you do, you will look back at what you did at the end of the day and you will feel better about yourself. That's the entire point of this channel. The truck sure is maintaining speed out here on the highway a lot better, guys. Uh, my RPMs are about 2,600 or so. No spitting, no sputtering. My boost level is pretty low, but that's fine because we're maintaining speed. EGT is about 770. On more of an incline, our boost levels come up maybe 15, 18 pounds. And the uh, EGTs get up about 1050, 1100 ish. Doing pretty good, honestly. I'm enjoying driving the truck a lot more since we got the boost levels and stuff up. We're looking for a tan Subaru with a black box on top. It looks like we found it. Got backed up here. PTO on. Transmission neutral. Kicks on the PTO. Come back here, run the bed out. Start tilting it down. like a little puddle of coolant or something down there. Oh yeah. What a great backing up job I did. Right there in front of the tires. Got it hooked up. Let's get it winched on, guys. up a little on that forward Back up one heck of a driveway there. But we 
Got our PTO, kicked on, truck in neutral, brakes are all set. Go ahead and roll the bed back and drop this Subaru here where they want it. All right. Let that Subaru off of here. Put it in park. Got the car in park. Go ahead. Tilt the bed back down. Run it forward. Oh. Get the hooks. Hooked in. And snugged up. Jump back in the truck, push the brake, e-brake off, truck and drive, shut off the PTO, and we are good. Get back down this driveway there, holy moly. This is steep too. Ooh, I wonder if they want to get rid of that wood splitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got eyeball things. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Yep, you guessed it. Something else came up why I didn't make a video the last three weeks. I seen a neighbor down here cutting a tree down. That equals firewood in my book. Wife and I use Thrasher and Blue Nose. We collected up all this firewood from a neighbor that just cut down this elm tree. Still not getting to the video. That neighbor that's building a new house needs me to come over with the tractor. A while back we talked about coming and helping a neighbor build the house and uh we're back over there today, getting a bunch of rock moved around to the front. To be quite honest, maybe I should have filmed that adventure. It was tight quarters getting down there around the front and a nice big drop off if I would have made a mistake. Plus, I needed to dig out some of that drop off so that he could do a nice brick, uh, brick border wall. So... Yeah, it's a pretty good day's work, but I've got to get cleaned up. See, we've got some uh, town council positions that are up for re-election. We got some challengers, and for some god-awful reason, I've been selected as the moderator for the debate. So I've got to get up there and I'll ask everybody questions and try to get some answers and try to help people decide who to vote for. Do they realize where I spent most of my life is in a prison cell? And on that message, after I got my CDL, I posted on Facebook, guys. And I was looking for a job. And I got six job offers. Yeah, me. Multi-time violent felon. I had six job offers. And I'm not saying just some little rinky-dink job offers. I'm saying serious people that really truly wanted me to come and work for their companies. I narrowed that down to just two, and now I've got it narrowed down to one, and I've gotten a new job. I'm not going to be a full-time truck driver. I am going to be driving some trucks and pulling spray rigs to farms and doing chemical applications, spraying for bugs, pests, herbicides, for getting rid of weeds. I'm going to be the spray guy, and so I'm going to load up. A sprayer on a trailer, tow it with a semi, unload it at each farm, fill it with chemicals, go out and spray, reload it on the trailer, go to the next farm. I think that it's a great opportunity. It's just a small company, father and two kids, and I'm going to be the new guy. 
and eventually take over the father's position because he's trying to retire. On that note, guys, I'm just going to say what I always say. Believe in your God-given hands, guys. I never thought that I would be in the positions that I am today to help people getting multiple job offers, having a CDL, being successful, being clean, being sober. Believe in yourselves. Believe that Jesus can come into your heart and make changes in you, and you can be a successful human too. We don't all have to continue living in our filth, our addictions, our destructive and sinful ways. Pull yourself out of it. I believe in you. Here comes another train. This will make the third one. Just trying to do the narration of this video. So before I take off guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know how much I'm going to be putting into YouTube in the future. Depending on the success that this video has, which if the history repeats itself, won't be very great. I had to make a decision financially and based on my life, I realized that I'm going to be working six days a week at my new job during the summer. The farms count on us to get the spray out and we've got to bust our butts and get the, get the fields sprayed. They are relying on us to get rid of the pests, to get rid of the weeds, so their crops can flourish. And I take that responsibility seriously, and the amount of money that I make by investing that extra couple days into my job versus taking a couple days to put into doing projects, filming projects, editing projects, and putting it on YouTube is a huge difference. I'll just be honest. I don't make much from YouTube at all. So, I love y'all. I appreciate everybody that follows the channel. I appreciate all my subscribers. I will be making YouTube content. I just don't know how deeply committed to it and how consistent I'm going to be in the future. So, till next time, keep building shit, guys.